Now while the Synapse does derive some yaw stability from having swept wings, that is to say that when one wing becomes more perpendicular to the airflow it tends to self-correct, like this, it still does need vertical stabilizers. And I've chosen to use wingtip vertical stabilizers in this case, as it's a logical and inobtrusive place to mount the vertical stabilizer, and as well they can be made to fold down and retract for transport and storage. The actual size of the vertical stabilizers is subject to some pretty in-depth science, and I don't pretend to make that in-depth analysis here, except to say that I like mine a little bit on the larger side for improved stability and th through the whole flight envelope, fast and low speeds, uh, installs, and to help prevent spins and so forth. So my recommendation is to use a surface area of the vertical stabilizers that's at least as large as the side surface of your fuselage forward of your center of gravity. The center of gravity is approximately here and so you'll note that there is more vertical surface of the fuselage forward of that center of gravity than there is behind that center of gravity. This is a yaw destabilizing effect caused by the fuselage and so an equivalent or greater amount of vertical surface must be built into the airframe rearward of the center of gravity to compensate for that. My actual recommendation is to use two vertical stabilizers equivalent to this side surface area and if anything err on the side of make them a little bit larger. So for this fuselage in particular which is a two and a half inch nominal tube I've used a not quite 10 inch cord which corresponds to the wing cord nicely by six inches tall and three inches here. I'm using Depron here as it's light and I have a stash of it I need to get rid of but foam board works perfectly well, just a tiny bit heavier. For the smaller fuselage, I'm using a slightly smaller vertical stabilizer here, which is just an inch shorter, but has the same cord, which brings it from the leading edge of the wing back to right about even with the trailing edge of the Elevon. Then there's the matter of whether to mount the vertical stabilizers entirely up from the airfoil itself, like this, or to center it somehow, or even mount the vertical stabilizer protruding downward from the wing. This is useful if you intend your wingtip vertical stabilizers to also serve as landing skids, although I found this to be relatively unnecessary with the Synapse. Uh, but if you have landing gear and you wish to configure the vertical stabilizers to hit the ground before the prop hits the ground, and therefore prevent prop strikes under any circumstances, this might be a useful feature for you. Otherwise, it's probably simpler to use upward facing vertical stabilizers as well as it allows them to be uh, foldable like this. It can be useful to pre-finish your wing tips with some duct tape or some packing tape as it can tend to sort of peel up the paper along the edges with repeated use. In either of those wing tip designs, it can be useful to put a gift card or a piece of plastic here I've bent in half and strip the tape underneath exposing foam. CA glued this here and here so this provides a nice firm hard point to attach your vertical stabilizers whether you choose to use two-sided tape or glue to glue right to that or the folding type this is a nice hard point you can work with as opposed to the relatively soft foam here and here. This Depron vertical stabilizer is adhered directly to this gift card glued to the end of the wingtip with the Scotch 3M foam mounting tape and it is incredibly secure. In fact, you'll see that it actually breaks the uh, Depron before the tape gives way. And this, But this can be removed and replaced with a different wingtip should you ever damage it or desire a different configuration of your vertical stabilizer. The folding vertical stabilizer is actually quite a bit easier than you might think. Just take your wingtip uh, with or without the reinforced duct tape on the edge and place another piece of duct tape half on and half off of the wingtip like that. Place it on a flat surface like that and then your vertical stabilizer line up the leading edge with the wing like this in a vertical position maybe slightly bent outward and then press it down to engage the tape. Then just fold it down flat to get it fully stuck and that way when you fold it up against the wingtip it'll make a nice tight joint out here like that. Having taped the outside, go ahead and open up the joint 
and then finish that ex exposed adhesive with a thin piece of tape there just so it doesn't get all gummy and crappy. Next you'll need some Velcro. I recommend using the hook fasteners on the wing itself and the loop as just a, piece, a strip here. This is self-adhesive, this is sew on, which means there's no adhesive or any uh, backing to it. It's just a piece of fabric with the loops. Place a square inch here securely on the upper surface of the wing about a third to half of the way back. I like to do it at, at or slightly behind the highest camber of the wing. And then you can fold up your vertical stabilizer in the correct position and use a utility knife or a um, hobby knife to make an incision right through the vertical stabilizer the same width as the Velcro or slightly wider. That will allow you to thread this through across the side, what will be the side when this is folded up, and then place another piece of hook Velcro here. If you have any questions about the security of this, I recommend exposing the foam and gluing it right to the foam. If you're not flying at very hot or very cold temperatures, oftentimes you can just stick it right to the tape, but be advised, make sure this is secure. In the folding wing tip method, do note that this Velcro is subject to abrasion on landings if you don't keep your wings perfectly level. Therefore, you may consider putting some tape or other protection across the surface of that. But of course, if your Velcro gets worn, you can just take this piece out, throw it away, and then replace it with a fresh piece. In its folded position, the vertical stabilizer looks like this. And then to deploy the wingtip, just fold it up fir firmly against the uh, wingtip like that, press down on the Velcro, test it, and you'll be good to fly. Now to get somewhat the same effect of a skid on the folding vertical stabilizer, you may consider putting something like a little piece of foam board or gift card protruding downward from the rear of your vertical stabilizer, and this will still permit it to fold up. However, learn from my mistake to reinforce this area, as with uh, repeated landing stress, it can cause it to weaken, and this actually broke in flight, not on landing, but I'm sure the damage occurred from excessive side stress on this causing a crack and then it broke right off. Fortunately the plane still flew just fine and landed with that so I did have ample vertical stabilizer surface even minus that section.